All right, so I am going to be teaching you guys today how you can run exe files on your Mac, right? So I'm sure everybody knows that this is already easily accomplished. I mean, we have options like, um, you know, like uh, Parallels, and you can use Boot Camp to run Windows and things like that. But those are kind of inconvenient to me. I don't really want to have to switch over to Windows every time I need to run an exe file. In fact, I really like the versatility of being able to run my DMG files and also run my, um, you know, my other files together. Um, so basically, you know, pretty much uh, that that's that's my reasoning behind this, and that's why I'm gonna do what I want to do. Okay. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, uh, there are a couple things that you want to start doing. Um, I, for one, am pretty much going to go here. I've already got the program. It's called Wine Bottler, um, but I'll show you how, how to get it later. But I'm going to open it now. So <clears throat> this is basically the menu for Wine Bottler that you see here. Um, pretty straightforward. I mean, you got your applications folder. You know, um, this is where all your apps for Wine Bottler go. <clears throat> and uh, pretty much, uh, you you can go through here um, to you know to get to your exe files. But uh, me personally, I I ended up uh, doing it a little bit different. Um, so you know, I mean, if you want to keep you know their setup, that's great. Um, but you know, like at the end of the day, I'll I'll leave that up to you. Um, me personally, I use the Finder, and what I did is I created myself a user folder. Okay, so here's your here's your user folder. Um, I have a folder in here called Wine Files, so it's specifically just for my Wine Files or my EXE files, pretty much, right? <clears throat> And uh, you'll have to create this. Um, I'll double click here. And what it does is it creates like a virtual C drive like you'd find in Windows. So when you click on it, um, you'll you'll be able to see that you have subcategories like program files, users, etc. So I'm going to go into program files. And this is the game that I play actually on, um, you know, on Windows. Um, it's not available for Mac. And I wanted a way to play it on my Mac while I could do, you know, do other stuff on my Mac. Um, so it's by Electronic Arts. And as you can see, you got a crappy version of Internet Explorer here they give you too. So let me just show you Internet Explorer. Um, as you can see, it is a .exe file. There is no DMG here, right? And it is Internet Explorer, so um, that's definitely taboo to have on your Mac, right? Like nobody really wants you to have Internet Explorer. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, though, let me show you guys how to open it up. So we're going to open up an .exe file here. And basically from this folder, I'll just open. You'll get this prompt here. Um, you know, you, you don't really have to show the page or anything, just hit open. What it's going to do is it's going to open up another, um, another window here and basically you'll get the option to run it, you know, from the folder, um, or another option. You only really need to run it from the folder. <clears throat> it's like running it from a C drive. So don't even worry about the second option. Um, at the end of the day, just, you know, you'll never really use this one. It's going to be the top one here for you. Okay. So you're running it from the C drive, the fake C drive, I guess you could, I guess you could say. So we're going to hit okay. And once we do that, <clears throat> we're going to see that we get internet Explorer, um, in all its horrible glory, right? Oh, uh, by the way, this is the, the wine website that I would recommend using. This is where I got my, um, information. <clears throat> There's two types of downloads. There's like an experimental and a standard one. And the experimental is going to be for newer operating systems. I'm currently running Yosemite. Um, but this one is said to run not just Yosemite, but also on El Capitan as well. Um, if that is what you, you know, are you trying to get and they're constantly doing updates. So, um, th th I really like this site. This site kind of put it straightforward for me and it's totally free. You don't have to pay for it. Um, you know, it's not like Parallels or Windows where you have to spend an arm and a leg just to make it happen. So um, definitely check it out. <clears throat> so that was that was crappy Internet Explorer. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you how, how a game runs. Because Internet Explorer is just a browser, right? I mean, it's not really impressive. But let me just show you. This is, this is Ultima Online. Okay, this is an old, 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 old MMORPG. It's still running strong, though. It's been running strong since, like, 98. So... Um, it, you know, it, it's, it's very near and dear to my heart, <laughs> but, um, anyways, I'm going to show you basically what I do. So when I installed Ultima online, it, I got this, you know, this folder here. So basically this is all the files that came with it, but I need to find the, the startup, uh, .exe file. Cause I'm going to run the .exe file. That's all I care about. Right. So <clears throat> in that case, if you know what it is, you'll, you'll want to run it. Uh, in particular, this program uses uopatch.exe. So as you see again, I get the window, hit OK. 
and it's gonna you know it's gonna do an update because that's what it likes to do so I'm running the classic client because I like it better the 3d client looks like crap um, and so this is gonna do its update it'll probably take a second because it's you know so laggy but already as you can see um, what happens <clears throat> during during the launch is in the top you'll see it's still running as wine right so I'm not running you know uo patch.exe I'm running wine and all wine is doing is creating a virtual environment for that exe file to open in so it's not like you know it's not like when you open Safari or your calendar or whatever app you're on on your computer um, where you'll have preferences and whatnot up in the top left for it um, but instead you're you're playing you're basically using wine to view the file is what you're doing but it works I mean you can interact with it and you can save and do all sorts of crap with it so everything goes to that C drive folder which is great um, looks like this is doing its updates fucking cruising through so <clears throat> shouldn't take me too long but um, but yeah um, that that's why I really like this now I, I'm rocking a 27 inch Mac right here um, this program right here, you know, I, that was one of the reasons I wanted it because I can game, I can throw on iTunes or I can do whatever, you know, and I'm still able to kind of do all my other stuff too. Now, if you're rocking, you know, for instance, boot camp as an example, um, if you get out of boot camp and there's something you want to do on your Mac, you have to, you, you can't, you're going to be stuck in windows until you boot back to, um, you know, um, Mac. I mean, it's, it's very inconvenient. Um, this, in my opinion, is much, much, much more convenient. I can do, it's a one-stop shop. I don't have to switch back and forth. I don't have to do anything really special. All it's doing is rocking exe files for me. Well, and I'll show you here in a in a minute mm -mm, where uh, we'll do we'll do a test. I'll show you like I'll pull, probably pull up like Amazon Music on here, which is a DMG program, and I'll and I'll run that alongside of the exe um, game here, so you can see the difference you know as you can see though down in the bar um i do get the ultimate online logo uh in my dock but the logo itself is still when you hover over it you still get the word wine so it even takes the icon that you would normally have on windows and it puts it in your dock um, that way you get some ability to see uh, and, and just make sure that um you know you're getting you know the right program when you click on it so <clears throat> this is going to be done shortly and when it is I'm gonna log in. I'll play a little bit, kind of give you an idea, um, you know, how it looks, and then you can see pretty much how the game plays. I mean, it's not really the greatest game. I just, I just need something quick that I could show you guys. And I haven't really loaded too many EXE files to the computer because, I mean, honestly, I don't really use a lot of EXE files anymore. And um, you know, the ones that I do use, they're pretty much they take a majority of my time with the EXE files. So. Um, everything else I need is pretty much already on my Mac. <clears throat> so we're going to run it, okay? And as you can see, it's, you know, it's kind of a new game. And they got this new little Time of Legends thing or whatever. Let me go ahead and log in real quick here. Once I log in, uh, you guys probably can't hear my sound because um, I have to do the audio recording over it. So anyways, I'm logging in. I get my shard, bada bing, bada boom, find it, whatever. Click here. These are all my old character names. As you can see, there's, some of them are really inappropriate, which is great. Um, and I logged in, right? So I'm rocking a EXE game. This is a pretty cool game, too, if you ever want to play it. It's just UO.com. Um, you know, it's the original MMO. It's got a lot of stuff you don't find in current you know, games nowadays. Um, some stuff that's still unique to it, like uh, player housing and then uh, different types of PvP. But um, anyways, let me, uh, let me show you a little bit of gameplay, and then I'll show you how, you know, next I'll show you um, how I can run multiple, you know, programs. So I'll rock the the exe, you know, program um, alongside my, uh, you know, like a DMG program. So uh, let's pick. No, I'm not gonna pick iTunes. Let's pick Amazon Music. I don't do the iTunes anymore because they took away the radio. So I'm gonna actually just play, um, you know, my uh, right here. I'm actually gonna play Kill Switch Engage. You guys can't hear it. Like I said, it is a mic issue. Um, but as I'm playing, I have Kill Switch Engage going over there on Amazon Music in my DMG. And I'm playing video games at the same time with an EXE file. So as you can see, I have accomplished my goal here, right? So, um, I mean, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and kill this thing right here. You're dead. Okay, whatever. Let me get out of here and head back. Okay. Da, 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 da. Going back to Luna. That's right. Cool. Okay. So 
as you can see, I was able to pretty much do what, what most people want. You want that flexibility. Now, I will say that it doesn't work with every EXE file, okay? Some of them do have issues, and you will run into that problem. It's not perfect, but no options are really perfect nowadays, okay? Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, though, it, it is, in my opinion, the best choice, you know, that's that's pretty much out there for, for us as, uh, as consumers, so... Um, I mean, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and log out here, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, um, leave your uh, stuff in the comments section below, and I will do my best to answer them. All right, guys. You have a good day. Take care.